Hey there, it's Kimberly Lucht, and today I want to talk a little bit about how to maneuver through this world as an old soul. And so maybe you identify as an old soul, maybe you feel like you've been here a while, and if that's the case, perfect, this is a video for you. Sometimes we might wonder, how do we keep things fresh? How do we keep it from becoming like a slog? Of like, okay, your soul has cycled here many times, how do we keep things kind of vibrant and like as if they were new, right? And one of my friends recently was saying like, Kimberly, I just feel like my soul has been here for so long. I feel like I cycled through lifetimes for a while. I feel like this journey just keeps on going and going and going. And I know I've been here before, like I have so much deja vu. I have so many instances where I'm like, I've met you before. And I was like, you know what? I feel the same way. <laughs> And it might be that we're old souls, souls that have been here for a while, souls that have come either onto this planet Earth and cycled here, only here on this planet Earth, or souls that have cycled around the galaxy and around different galaxies too, like star seeds. I've referenced that in another video of mine. It's something that we don't really know the full extent of, but it's a big question mark of like, have I been here before? And my inner knowing says that I have, I have three past lives in particular that keep coming forward in quote unquote random and spontaneous moments, one of which is a woman in Wales that I see and like her face is like in my mind's eye, like I know who she is, like I, I just see her and like that was me. And I know I was a bee priestess either in Egypt or Greece or wherever bee priestesshood in the Mediterranean was most popular. And I also know that I was a Native American woman who I think died from childbirth. These are things that have just come in as information without me trying to seek it out or figure it out. Um, but I know that I've been here before. And people who do see past lives for other people or do past life regressions, I have friends of mine who do this, and they can confirm with almost certainty that I have been here before and so there's something beautiful within that right you come with so much experience from past lifetimes you come with a wisdom that can't necessarily be explained you just have this inner knowing or inner insight that comes through when people have whether it's issues or problems or they're seeking solutions that are a little more out there or creative you seem to kind of just channel through things that might not have come if you type it in google or other things like names of things or like random languages that you might have in your mind of like, why did I think of this random word that apparently means this in that language, but it's not a language that's used anymore. So if you've had any of those types of experiences where you're like, I have been here before, you go travel somewhere, you're like, I've been here before, or you meet someone, you're like, I've seen you or I've been with you before, you might have this soul energy that's been cycling through lifetimes for who knows how long. If that's the case, you might also feel sometimes like you're like, oh my God, <laughs> all of these new souls or supposedly new souls around me are seeing this from such fresh eyes and such fresh perspective. I'm like, wow, look at this, look at that color, look at these uh, flowers, look at whatever the place or the space is inviting them to take in. And you look at it, you're like, mm -hmm. like I've been here before, I've seen that before, I've done that before. And sometimes it can feel a little monotonous. And even if you're experiencing something new in this lifetime, maybe it feels like, I don't know, I've experienced that in other lifetimes or like it just doesn't have the oomph that you want it to have. Here's what I told my friend when she was telling me a little bit more about her experience. She's like, I just feel like I've been here so long. Like, when is it gonna be my turn to dip off into the, the never, never land of, you know, your happy soul for life and just float around the galaxy forever. You know, there's there's power in that and there's beautiful happiness in that as well, but there's a reason why you're here at this time, able to watch me in this video saying these certain things. There's a reason why your soul chose to come here at this time. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you have a purpose, like a specific purpose necessarily, or a dharma. It's like your energy is needed right here, right now. And if that weren't the case, you wouldn't be here. And so I want you to think about, okay, what part of my soul's energy is most valuable at this moment in time? Where do I think that this energy needs to be placed in order to heal or expand or help others? What does that look like for me? And also when it comes to the fresh eyes and the fresh perspective, I want you to look at it as like, okay, let's say you're 80 years old in this lifetime or 90 years old or 100 years old or more. There's something that happens in life that I think is really beautiful and something to take as a metaphor. 
when we're babies, we need to be cared for. There are certain things that we can't do on our own. And when we're elders, sometimes that also happens again. So it's like a cycle back to becoming a newborn child, being taken care of, being nurtured, being dependent on others. And while that's not always the most ideal scenario for a lot of people, they don't wanna lose their independence, they don't wanna go back to being a baby or being a child or being babied or you know being treated like a child. But something about childlike nature is that everything is fresh. Everything is new. Everything is so interesting and evokes curiosity. And I think that if we mirror that childlike curiosity with elderly curiosity or what could be elderly curiosity, I think there's something here when it comes to the timeline of our soul. So let's say you're a new soul and like, oh, everything is new and you have no experience under your belt and you're like, you know, no jaded vibes at all. And you're just like, yep, walking through the first lifetime that you have without any sort of baggage. Now, let's say you're an older soul. So maybe like 90 year old soul or like hundred year old soul in the timeline of a lifetime soul, which we don't know what that is. But let's say you're kind of on the further end of the soul's lifetime. You're not walking with so much vigor and so much like, whoa, this is new and that's new and so much marvel, but there's something that you are walking with, which is this experience that you've brought into this lifetime, which is new. This lifetime is new. And when you enter the elderly stage in this lifetime, if we are lucky enough to get there, it's a new stage of life. It's new. There's something new about it. There's newness all around. It's like, but we have to be aware of it and we have to seek it out. So if you're an 80 year old in an 80 year old physical body seeking out the new, of like, okay, I've never listened to this music or I've never had conversations about this. They're like, wow, this experience of being taken care of, it feels new for me. And similarly, when we get to a soul that's older, an elderly soul, it's like looking at this lifetime as a lens of like, we have never experienced life in this physical body that we have right now. And that is new. Right? And so maybe you have been here multiple times, whatever you believe and whatever thoughts or things have come through in terms of past lives for you, maybe it's like an element of taking all of the lifetimes that you've had before you, if you have had them or believe you've had them and bringing them into this kind of new formed ball. It's like, this is my soul's kaleidoscope and all the different elements and all of the different colors that come together in this lifetime in such a way that makes it new is interesting. It's like, okay, you just had red as a color in one lifetime and then orange as a color in a different lifetime. And then maybe you have yellow in a different lifetime. You put them all together, you get a different mixture of all those colors and it's new again. And so all of the lifetimes that you've had before mixing together and becoming a pot of like all these experiences or emotions or people or places that you've come into touch with, they are all merging right now in this current lifetime at this moment in time to create a kaleidoscope that you've never seen before, that your soul has never seen before. And this soul cycle has never been seen before. The other thing I noted with my friend is that, yo, we might have lifetimes under our belt, so much wisdom and so much knowledge that has come through those lifetimes. But something that we've never had and why I believe there's like a spiritual awakening happening at the moment is access to technology like this that connects us globally, that lets us reach people, whether they're in India or California or Mexico or Brazil. We are able to connect as a global population in a way that was never the case on planet Earth. Now, we don't know about other planets. <laughs> I, uh, I know that there's like a lot of things in the government at the moment being like, okay, what's going on with these UFOs, UAPs, now they call them that, um, but what's going on there? And what type of alien contact do we have at this moment in time? And we don't know all the facts and we don't know all the answers, but at this moment in time, we as souls on this planet Earth, if we cycled here on this planet Earth and had only cycled on planet Earth, we have never had a lifetime where technology was at this capacity where we were able to connect with people not in a physical space with us. And that's amazing. That's absolutely miraculous and bewildering, especially to potentially ancestors of ours. Like what? You can like FaceTime people and call people. It's just like bewildering. Like it's like out of this world. And so 
those are three things that I want you to remember as you journey through this old soul manifestation, right? Is that the mirroring of like the baby and the elder soul, the baby soul and elder soul actually have a lot in common. And the newness of being, okay, like I have all this experience, but everything comes into play in a different way in this lifetime. And then also the fact that we've never had access to like this technology before. Like these are three things that I think are really important to keep in mind. If you ever feel like, ugh, I don't want to slog through the day or slog through this lifetime. Like I'm just, I've, I'm done. You're not though, because you're here and there's a reason why you're here. And so here are three questions to reflect on as you journey through your old soul's experience. Number one, what childlike curiosity can I bring into my elder soul's journey? Number two, what kaleidoscope of experiences and emotions am I bringing into this lifetime that's never been done before? And number three, what kinds of things are available to me right now in this moment that were never available to anybody else in any other lifetime on planet Earth? What miracles are available to you, right? And so taking all of that into account, I want you to place a hand on your heart, maybe two, and just remember that you're here for a reason. There's a beautiful reason why you decided to come onto this video and take in this energy at this time. And I think that there's a refresh that all of the old souls can do where it's just, it's easier to maneuver through the world. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this helps. If you want more guidance on things like this, I really invite you to check out the Queen Bee Hive. It's my group coaching program for spiritual entrepreneurs. A lot of us on there are old souls and it's something that we openly talk about, especially if it's something that has to do with why we're here and the purpose that we're here to bring forward. It's something that we bring into the fold. And so yeah, the link to check that out is down below and I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for being here and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.